What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Wrestling for Life Network, and welcome back to the TNA Impact Review. We had some NXT TNA crossovers this week. We had a banger episode of TNA Impact. We got one more episode before we head into Slammiversary. We got a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. <laughs> Like I said, welcome back to the Wrestling for Life Network and welcome back to a new episode of the TNA Impact Review. This week on TNA Impact, we had Jordan Grace defend the TNA Knockouts World Championship in an open challenge match. We found out who was the one to attack Frankie Kazarian and we had a big tag team match to main event impact. Like I said, we got a lot to talk about, so we will be getting into it. So TNA kicks off with the big reveal who attacked Nick Nimeth. It wasn't dirty dangle, or I think his new name is JDC. It wasn't dirty dangle. So who was it? It was none other than Frankie Kazarian who attacked Nick Nimeth last week on TNA Impact. That was revealed by Ryan Nimeth, and then Nick Nimeth came out and attacked Frankie Kazarian in this parking lot bra, in this parking lot backstage segment. It was cool to see. So where do we go from here towards Slammiversary? I don't believe Nick Nimeth, as of right now, is cleared to wrestle at Slammiversary, but we got one more episode left of TNA Impact before Slammiversary, so something might change between now and that next Thursday's edition of TNA Impact. Then we had the first match of the night, which was Jordan Grace defending her title in an open challenge match. Anyone from any company could appear in this match, but we all knew it was going to be from one company, and that is WWE, and that is WWE NXT. And who was it? It was Izzy Dane from WWE's NXT. Before the match could really kick off, we were interrupted by George Iceman, the personal concierge of Ash by Elegance, and he stated that Ash by Elegance, as we have known, is on vacation, but he will not break tradition. They will not break tradition in this match, Ash by Elegance will be watching this match via satellite, which was hilarious. But this match was was fun. I don't think it was one of Jordan's best defenses. I don't know why. It was very, very slow, but it had some high moments and high spots. I don't think, it, like I said, it was Jordan Grace's best defense. But it was a fun match nonetheless. Obviously, Jordan Grace got the victory here as she defends her title at Slammiversary against Ash by Elegance. But we continue with this TNA WWE crossover that I'm liking to see. Later on, we'll be talking about a group that showed up on NXT this past week from TNA. So TNA and WWE are definitely working together in this great partnership so far. So we went from the women's NXT versus TNA match to the men's NXT versus TNA match. In the second match of the night, it was Charlie Dempsey versus Zachary Wentz of the Rascals. And this was a fun and solid match on both ends. Zachary Wentz showing why he's one of the best in TNA wrestling. And Charlie Dempsey bringing over that NXT heat to TNA. Surprisingly, I really thought Zachary Wentz was going to get the win here. But surprisingly, Charlie Dempsey did get the win, but he didn't get the win without a little bit of help from another NXT superstar, and that is Miles Bourne again from NXT. So this, this collaboration is hot and heavy right now with WWE and TNA, and I can mention, because this is a perfect time, on this past week's episode of NXT, we had the Rascals Reunion. The Rascals showed up on NXT television. 
things are going very, very well for this NXT TNA collaboration right now. So next week on TNA Impact, this sets up a huge six-man tag team match. I don't know who is going to be the third person for the Rascals. It could be Wesley. Not entirely sure, but it's going to be the Rascals in a third person versus the new quarter catch crew, Miles Bourne, Tavon Heights, and Charlie Dempsey. This is all going down next week on TNA Impact. So we head to our next match of the night. It was the number one contendership for the X Division Championship. This was a match between Speedball Mike Bailey, Kushida, and Jonathan Gresham. And I think we already knew this was Speedball Mike Bailey's match to win. This is his moment to go to Slammiversary and hopefully win the X Division Championship against Mustafa Ali. And no surprise here. That's exactly what happened. Speedball Mike Bailey won this match and will be heading to Slammiversary to challenge Mustafa Ali for the X Division Championship. And I'm super excited for that match. But this match right here on TNA Impact was very, very fun. I think each competitor in this match had the opportunity to show up and show out. And I think each competitor had that spotlight put on them at one point. Again, Speedball Mike Bailey won. No surprise there because this match was already kind of made official. And then it was it was like a take back. They were like, no, Speedball needs to really own this, um, earn this opportunity. And that's exactly what he did. So Slammiversary, it is going down. I am actually pulling for Mike Bailey. But I'm also wanting Mustafa Ali to retain as well because I don't know if he has signed an official contract with TNA. So if he drops the X Division Championship, is this the end of Mustafa Ali and TNA wrestling? I hope not, but he has done some great work in TNA. He has he has really helped with the X Division and rebuilding the X Division. So I don't want Mustafa Ali to go anywhere. So if he loses the title, I hope he is sticking around for, for a while, maybe a couple of more months, so they can build up that X Division a little bit more. So this next match on TNA Impact... I'm going to be honest, I didn't really care about that much. It was AJ Francis defending the Digital Media Championship against Rhino. And the first initial match ended in a disqualification very, very quickly within, you know, a couple of minutes into this match. Uh, Rich Juan got involved to cause the disqualification. Santino Morella said, no, 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 this is not going to happen on my watch. This is now a Philadelphia street fight won by AJ Francis. I don't really think nothing special happened here for me to be like, oh my God, this was great because honestly, it wasn't. Um, that's kind of how I feel. The aftermath, PCO coming out because they are having a match at Slammiversary, PCO and AJ Francis. But at, at the end of this match, PCO did come out. He tried to save Rhino. Uh, it was a back and forth for a minute with AJ Francis and Rich Swan, and then AJ Francis got the upper hand, and that's basically in the end of this segment and match. But it really wasn't anything special. No hate to Rhino, PCO, or AJ Francis. I think this was just like the weakest point of TNA Impact this week. But I'm excited for the AJ Francis PCO match. You know, I'm excited. I don't know if PCO will win gold in his home country, in his home city in Montreal, Canada. But yeah, Slammiversary, it, they have some stacked matches happening. And this is one of them. AJ Francis. PCO for the digital media championship in that Canadian international heavyweight championship. I don't know. It, it, it has so many names, but that title is also on the line as well. TNA had a lot of matches this past week. One match that wasn't announced was Tasha Steeles versus Giselle Shaw. And that was a fun match. This was a match to basically kind of jock for position 
in the knockouts division. Um, I love seeing Tasha Steels. I want Tasha Steels to be a part of this NXT TNA crossover because I, I'm dying Jada Parker versus Tasha Steels. But yeah, this was a fun match. G Giselle Shaw has came back with this new attitude, this fierce attitude, and uh, Tasha Steels is always the greatest that beat the greatest. She's always talented in that ring. This was a match won by Shaw. I feel like both uh, competitors in this match needed a victory but nonetheless Shaw won this match like I said there was a whole lot of wrestling on this match this match uh this episode of TNA Impact this match wasn't even announced so yeah TNA is always always throwing some matches in there that are never announced but like I said this was a fun match won by Giselle Shaw so like I said, a lot of matches have went down on this week's episode of TNA Impact, and we got another one. Chris Bay from ABC versus JDC Dirty Dango, and this match took off really quickly. It was a fast-paced match. It's one of those total non-stop action matches, but there was an interruption, and you know where the interruption is coming from. It is coming from the system. The system interrupted this match, gave JDC basically this victory, but I believe this sets up the potential tag team match at Slammiversary. And the reason why I'm calling it a potential uh, tag team title match at Slammiversary is because next week on TNA, impact the hardys will be challenging for those tna world tag team championships against the system so whoever wins that match next week on tna impact will move on to slammiversary to potentially face abc for those tag team championships which i believe we already know will kind of be the system um but nonetheless i'm excited for the hardy brothers to be getting back together next week for a tag team championship opportunity, TNA is really cooking up. And, and literally, we're almost at the end of the episode of TNA Impact. And I've heard nothing but great things from this past week's episode of TNA Impact. I think it delivered from start to finish. Like I said, one of the low points was the AJ Francis match. But yeah, TNA definitely delivered this week. We are at the main event and the main event of tna impact was made earlier in the night by santino morella this was a wild card match involving four men of the six-way elimination tna world championship match at slammiversary so the teams were joe hendry and josh alexander versus steve macklin and moose this was a fun tag team match this match, this tag team match delivered the in the main event of TNA Impact. Kazarian was on commentary, but let me tell you, Moose and Steve Macklin worked very well as a tag team. I was kind of shocked, and I kind of want to see them tag team again. But yeah, uh, throughout this entirety of the match, Moose and Steve Macklin had the upper hand a lot of the time. But yeah, I didn't think I didn't think Josh Alexander and Joe Hendry were going to win because like that would put an asterisk on Moose, you know, in his kind of win streak right now. But Moose and Steve Macklin won this match. I am so glad this was the main event. Kind of surprising because I thought Dempsey and Wentz was going to main event TNA Impact this week, but it was this this tag team match showcasing. Four men that will be in this big six-way elimination match at Slammiversary. But yeah, this was a solid tag team match on both ends. Props to all four gentlemen involved. Joe Hendry, Josh Alexander, Steve Macklin, and Moose. And I can't talk more about Moose because it's like Moose, the way they are presenting Moose on TNA television, they are presenting him like the world champion. He is the world champion, but the presentation of Moose and the system has just been so good over the past two months. Like, all of this started at Hard to Kill earlier this year, and the presentation was great there. But over the past two months, it seems like TNA has stepped up their game with the presentation of the system. They're holding all the gold, and almost all the gold, I should say, in TNA. We, they're holding the Knockouts Tag Team Championships with uh alicia edwards they're holding the uh the world tag team championships with eddie edwards and brian myers and moose
Moose is holding the world championship. The system is looking strong going into Slammiversary. It's like, do you go? Do you not trust the system going into Slammiversary? Do some of them not walk out with their titles? Is it's crazy stuff. I don't know, but one thing in professional wrestling that I really like right now, and that's the system, and I can't keep my eyes off of them because each and every week they are delivering in matches and in uh, segments and backstage promos. Before we end today's episodes, there's two things I want to do. The first thing is Joe Hendry on NXT television and picking up the victory in the main event. It was Joe Hendry and Trig Williams versus Sean Spears and Ethan Page. Joe Hendry was the surprise tag team partner of Trick Williams, and he picked up the win. In the main event, a TNA star pinned a WWE superstar in the main event of NXT. Kudos to Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry, I feel like, is having, he's the most over superstar in all of professional wrestling. He is having the time of his life, the moment of his life, main eventing. I believe he main evented last week's episode of TNA Impact with Jake Something. He main evented this week's episode of TNA Impact with Josh Alexander, Moose, and Steve Macklin. And he main evented NXT. Man is on a roll. Man is on the roll. So proud of Joe Hendry. So proud of what's going on with WWE, TNA, NXT. Loving every minute of it. Minute of it. But yeah, Joe Hendry is definitely on a roll. And before we end today's edition of the TNA Impact Review, I do want to go over the current card for Slammiversary. So we got Jordan Grace defending the TNA Knockouts World Championship against Ash by Elegance. Mustafa Ali will be defending the TNA X Division Championship against Speedball Mike Bailey. The Digital Media Championship and the Canadian International Heavyweight Championship will be on the line. AJ Francis will be defending against PCO. The Militia, Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich will will be defending the TNA Knockouts World Tag Team Championships against Spitfire, Danny Luna, and Jody Threat. And lastly, Moose will be defending the TNA World Championship in a six-way elimination match. Those six competitors going up against Moose is Josh Alexander, Steve Macklin, Nick Nimeth, Frankie Kazari, and Joe Hendry. That is the lineup so far for Slammiversary. As if you're listening or watching this on Saturday, we got a week left. We got a week left until Slammiversary. Super excited for what TNA has to offer at the 20th anniversary of Slammiversary. That is it for this week's episode of the TNA Impact Review. We covered a lot. We'll be back next week covering more TNA Impact. I am your host, Ringsider Anthony, and I will see you in the next one.